So today we're looking at solving area problems using scale drawings. What do you guys know about area from the past? You multiply, area is equal to, there's a formula where we multiply length times width. And I like writing my cursive L's, so we'll write the formula a lot today. So for each diagram two, is a scale drawing of drawing one. Yesterday we were kind of playing around, what's the original, what's the new drawing? Today in this problem, this is the original. And this is the scale drawing of it for the new drawing. So we need to keep that in mind as we do our work today. And let's take a look down at this table. For drawing one, what's our side length? Three, Three units. For drawing two, what's our side length? Nine. Nine. Can we take those side lengths since they're squares and find the area? Well, if area is equal to length times width, then in this case, the area is going to be three times three because the length and width is both three. What is the area equal to then? Nine. Nine. But we do need to label it. And we've now found the area, everything in here. And here is what we really have found out. And you can draw this with me. It kind of looks like a pound sign in the middle there or a hashtag, right? That's because this is three units by three units. And how many total squares are in there when we do that? Nine. So this means that it is nine square units because when I multiply it how many squares showed up inside nine that's what the number nine is standing for the square units on the inside I'm not going to draw all the squares that would be in here because that's going to be a lot my area on drawing two for length times width is nine times nine what is this area equal then? 80. 81 square units. So picture that if I drew nine going down and nine going across, I would end up with 81 little tiny squares inside of this shape. That's why we need to label it with square units. So now we're dealing with square factor as a fraction and a percent. So for drawing two, we have the percent times drawing one. So I'm going to write this first as a little formula. Quantity is equal to the percent times the whole. Or drawing two is equal to the percent times drawing one. What is the side in drawing two? Nine, that means it goes here because it's for drawing two. Do you guys get my note taking there? I'm calling drawing two just D2. And in my formula here, I'm calling drawing one D1. This is equal to the percent times three. I don't know what the percent is. I'm gonna rewrite this right now. What, what variable could I use for percent? P. So this could be rewritten as nine is equal to three times the percent. Now it's a one step equation. And looking up here, what do we do if we have multiplication to solve an equation? Divide. We divide. What are we going to divide by? Three. We want to get that P or the percent by itself. So if I divide both sides by three, I'm running out of room. But what's nine divided by three? Three. Three it equals P. And what is P really? It's a percent, so it's times what? So the percent is 300%.
because I'm going to take that and multiply it by 100 to get the percent. What we're saying then is that this side length is 300 times bigger than this side length. Okay, so let's try it down here for the area. I'm going to now use some shorthand. Quantity is equal to Q times the percent and the whole. And in this case, I'm using the area of 2 is equal to the area of 1 times the percent. That's not an L, that's a 1. That means I have 81 is equal to, what was the area of the first drawing? 9. 9 times P, this looks like I've got two things back to back. A P looks like a backwards 9, doesn't it? And what are we going to divide by? 9. 81 divided by 9 is 9 equals the percent. And to get the percent, we then multiply that times 100 and we get 900%. That sounds huge, right? 900% is 900 over 100. That's big. But think about it. We went from nine squares that we could easily draw in here to 81 squares in here that we didn't even want to take the time to draw because that would be a lot of squares and they're little. That's 900% bigger. Oh, perfect. We have someone who took the time and drew it. That's 900% more squares than here. Do you guys see what our equations just found out? Okay. So just trying to make sense of some of the numbers that you guys are going to be doing. With that, I'd like you to turn the page. And you guys are going to be working with a partner to do the same thing with circles. But we need to talk a little bit of circle vocabulary first. Anybody know what this is called in the middle? It's the radius. Halfway across the circle is the radius. And in math, we use the little r, not a capital R, but a lowercase r for radius. That's always our variable for it. And the area of a circle is equal to, to find everything that's inside the circle, if I drew a little grid over this, we could find out how many little tiny squares and parts of squares are in there, but we don't need to do that because that's craziness. We're just going to multiply pi times the radius squared. So let's do a practice. Let's say I have a circle up here that has a radius of 2. I'm going to do pi. There's a key on your calculator, by the way, for pi. Do you see it right here? I'm pretty sure it's on your guys' too. Check. Okay. So all you have to do is push that key or Put in 3.14, that's our, our rounded version of pi. If you look up above the door, remember from pi day in March? Yep. Pi goes on and on and on. If you push the pi key, it's putting all of that in your calculator. But you can round to 3.14 if you want. And then you have to hit multiplied. What do I have here? Two. Two. And I need to square it. There's the square key here. Do you guys have it on yours? Yep, x squared. If I hit that, it's going to put a 2 squared up there. Equal. And the calculator just did all your work for you. What that is saying is we would get about 12 and a half squares drawn inside of this to be our square units in this tiny circle that we just drew. So the area of this circle would be equal to about and I'm going to put about because 
I'm rounding a little bit here, right? 12.56 would be 12.6. And picture, if I was drawing squares in that circle, wouldn't there be like little edges around the edge that would not be whole squares? Because it's not 90 degree angles, okay? So you guys are gonna do a little bit of, oh, I don't think you can see the graphing on here. It's barely copied. Can you kind of see in the background that there's, I'm gonna tell you what the units are. This radius is four units. And this radius is eight units. And I want you to work with a partner first on this page, doing the same kind of thing we did back over here. Okay? And then we're gonna to turn to this page and see how far you can get on working on these problems, which are a little bit more complex, and I'm available for help, okay? So that's our goal today, is to try to get through page 17.